when you work at the microscope, the most critical part is definitely inserting and removing the specimen holder. So you've got to do it carefully. So if you pay attention at some steps, everything should be fine. So here is the goniometer. So I put some marks here. So you see the closed position and the open position. There's a little pin in the specimen holder that should line up with the closed position. When the pin is lined up with the closed position, the tip of the holder, which is flat, lines up with this mark here, which is perpendicular to the pin. Before you insert in the holder, make sure the vacuum is okay. So if you see the vacuum, use your window. Make sure the octagon, which is the column vacuum, is good. So in this log scale, in this particular microscope, octagon should be below 15. So without specimen, you see octagon one or two or three. With the specimen in, it goes up to 15, 16, maybe 20, but it should drop down real quick. So make sure the vacuum are okay, everything is gray out. I'm sorry, not gray out, everything is green. And octagon in particular is below 15. And you see here, column valves, column valves closed button is yellow, which means the column valves are closed. Also make sure the objective aperture is retracted. If you see in the user interface at the right bottom corner, click in this little arrow here and then click apertures. So you see objective is gray, which means it's not inserted. But in order to double check, you can click this arrow here with this flap out button and now make sure the objective is yellow and reads retracted which are which is all the apertures are retracted so the most critical is the objective aperture because it sits right below the specimen holder in a very constrained space Okay, so you can also pull out the vacuum overview window, which gives you an idea about the vacuum. The lighter the blue, the better the vacuum. And you see those tie ball symbols here, which, are, which represent the column valves, and they are now closed. For example, this one, this is how it looks like when the valve is open but the column valves are closed. Which makes sense because the column valves button is yellow. Make sure the vacuum is good, column valves closed, button is yellow. You can also double check in this diagram and make sure the objective aperture is retracted. Okay, so now we are able to insert the specimen holder. Always handle the specimen holder using this uh, acrylic holder support. Always, when holding this, always hold the back of the holder because this is loosened. There is a little pin here that locks the holder, but it, in order the holder not to rotate. But the holder is somehow loosened in this direction. To so always grab the holder like this, like a gun trigger. You better use two hands. Okay. So grab the holder.
always double check the o-ring and the stereoscope double check for any fibers or lint and if you, you want to clean it grab a piece of power film and wrap it up maybe one or twice and also never touch this part of the holder that goes in vacuum from the o-ring forward and you see the tip of the holder is flat and down here you see the pin so when you insert in the holder in the microscope put the holder horizontal in respect to the goniometer which is the compost stage some people call it goniometer i'm gonna call it compost stage with this technical name so like make sure you line up this pin with the close position like this so when the pin lines up with the close position the flat the tip of the holder is lined up with those mark there are two stages the first one you're going to insert the holder until it doesn't go any further which will be somehow at this mark here when you see this arrow okay the next step is make sure the pin is lined up with the close position don't go too fast don't go too slow like this so you see the mark is now lined up with the purple plate this little blue mark with an arrow is lined up with the purple plate which is good so you're gonna feel a kind of resistance at the end which is normal so now you can see on the user interface the airlock time is counting down, so we set it up for five minutes in this microscope. When the time finish, when the time's up, then you can go to the next step, which is rotate the holder counterclockwise. I'll show you later. So you see this countdown here for the airlock cycle time remaining? You also see here in the VLOG software, so when you insert the holder, this loading sample window pops up and you can take the time to browse your folder and put your name, the name of your specimen, and you also see the countdown here. You can also see here at the vacuum overview. So now, you're gonna confirm the holder. So down here in the software, it says select specimen holder. Click in this little arrow. This is the single tilt holder. Make sure you select the right holder and click this return key. Okay, so once you confirm the holder and once the time's up, this LED will turn off and then that's the time to go to the next step, which is rotating the holder clock, counterclockwise. So when you rotate the holder counterclockwise, the pin that is now facing the closed position will rotate towards the open position. And the holder itself will open the column valves. When that happens, don't push the holder, just guide it through. What the pulls the holder into the microscope is the pressure difference. So the column is in ultra high vacuum. So in this diagram, the holder now is within this area. And the tubal molecular pump is pumping down the line, which is pumping down the airlock. So this is the only mechanical valve which is uh controlled i mean the the holder itself opens and closes that valve so you see here we've got almost two minutes sometimes 
uh, up to this point, if the pin is not properly lined up with the close position, the tip of the holder pushes the, the internal parts of the compost stage before the o-ring makes the sealing and that initiates the pumping cycle. So in this case, you will hear a very scary, gloomy sound because the tubo molecular pump would pump up against atmosphere. If that happens, don't panic. Pull out the holder carefully. Don't rush. Pull out the holder carefully. You wouldn't have to wait for the microscope to start the tubo on. The tubo on will turn orange. When it, when it turns yellow again, you could start over. Make sure the holder is horizontal and the pin is lined up with the close position. So those mark here, those cross marks are really helpful. So you shouldn't have any issues if you insert the holder carefully. Uh, don't put any force. Make sure the pin lines up with the close position and everything should be fine. So now that the time is almost finishing, you're gonna hear a, a sound. So you hear that sound, the LED is off. So now don't wait too much to go to the next step. And you see here, this valve is closed. So when this is gray, we don't know, the microscope doesn't know what the vacuum status is here. So now all you're gonna do is rotate this holder counterclockwise. And you see this little metal here? When you rotate it, this metal goes into this groove here, like this. Just guide it through. And watch for any larger gap. This is a normal gap, about two, three millimeters. If you see a larger gap, just wiggle the holder and keep inserting. Okay, vacuum is good, everything is fine. So now you're good to turn on the beam and actually open the column valves and starts off taking images.